Okay, here we have this device that we are going to be able to recover in a very easy and simple way. In this video tutorial we are going to use a totally different method. An updated method for those people who have not yet been able to recover their device with this video tutorial can do it. As we can see here our device has this little padlock on the top left it shows us this little padlock. For those people who still also had it since this device had a screen lock and what we did was reset it when we were able to reset our phone we were left with the Google account and with the forgotten Gmail account we still have here to be able to hear if it gives you the option to be able to skip it is because your device does not have the Google account if it has the Google account you are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. We are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network to be able to start the process. What I want to tell you is that we also have other totally different methods. Both without a PC and by PC. We have left it in the description of the video and in the first comment. Fixed for those people who have not been able to recover. Their device can do it from this method we are going to get. To where the blocked account is on our device also the Gmail account. As we had said previously a. In the videos that we had made that it was a method without a PC. But in this method we are going to use the PC. We are going to use an updated method to be able to recover. Our device and to be able to give a solution to the account deletion. We also want to tell those people. Who are always attentive to our video tutorials that we have the YouTube community session that allows us to see the videos anticipated by that community. First, we will be publishing our video anticipated by the YouTube community and then we will be publishing it on YouTube. That helps us, it would help them to see our advanced video tutorial. We will also be responding to the comments of that community. Here we can see that our device has this block of screen that was the first thing that we had forgotten. But now additionally we also get the Google account. Here that Google account will appear, that Google account appears there. But here here we can see that we can recover. You know the email you can. Write it and you will be able to recover it directly from here. You will be able to recover it, what it will ask for is the password, add the password. After adding the password completely, it would give you access. But let's say no, it does not have, you do not know the email or the password. You can also do it by this method. As we can see we can as here, it gives us two options. In Gmail or phone number. If you know your phone number, if you still have it, you can enter it here. You will click next and then it will send you a verification code. That code when you receive that verification code you will enter it here. But you do not have to have it on the same locked phone. On another unlocked phone so that you can receive that code. When you receive that code enter it and then your device will give you access. Always it is advisable to watch the video tutorial step by. Step so you can be aware of what we say. We give you several alternatives to be able to access and recover your device if it has these screen locks. That said in this video tutorial we are going to use a method by PC. A method totally by PC. We are going to explain step by step where you will be able to download the tool that we are going to use in this video tutorial. Also where you will be able to. Well we always recommend before you run up. The tool that we are going to use now it is advisable to always temporarily deactivate the antivirus since the antivirus would help us because when we have ah the antivirus activated the tool is going to be blocked. So we deactivate the antivirus after we deactivate the antivirus. The tool will give us access without it needing to be blocked we are going to explain the steps that we are going to well. 
We go here. Then we are going to go here our antivirus and. What we are going to do is go here on the left side. Here where the shield is where it says protection against. If it is threatened you are going to click and you are going to go down here where it says manage. Settings and you are going to deactivate this option that says real time protection. That would be one of the first options that we are going to use in this video tutorial. Then you go here to the browser and you are going to write here. You are going to write our page that appears here. Our page is called Davis L as it appears here it ends in DL David C E L D. U V I C L and this page is going to appear that says Davy Cell or Android. DTV either of the two options here it is going to take you to our page our entries. You are going to be able to find many totally different methods both for PC and without. PC then you go to here you go to here the last option this is the entry that we need that says apps device L Dicel applications you are going to click on it then once you click on it you are going to go down you are going to go down here you are going to be able to find this this tool here the tool is going to appear this would be the tool that we are going to use we are going to use in this video tutorial here you are going to find the drivers as well after you download it and it is deactivated the antivirus then we are going to run the tool we are going to run the tool we run it then it will open the tool and we are going to use the processor of our device we are going to do this video tutorial with a mediated processor then you are going to click here here on next and we are going to use the first options first we have two options to be able to do our device we are going to turn off our phone we turn it off we turn it off and here we have the first option which would be reset FRP. This would be the first option, what are we going to do now? We are going to introduce what the USB cable is. But for that person we are going to explain how they are going to install the drivers. Here they will be able to find the drivers. They are going to install the drivers according to their MediaTek processor ACPD. Qualcomm here we are going to find this one that says lit USB. This driver is highly recommended since this shows us the driver that is not installed. We are going to place it separately here. We are going to click here. It is going to be installed like this. They are going to click here where it says install. How do you know that the driver is installed? They are going to click here where it says remove. They are going to click here here they will be able to find all the drivers. Here I have the mediated drivers I have it installed here already. So how do I install it? They click here. When you connect your device it will appear here. You are going to click quickly and you are going to click on install so you will you will realize. So now we are not going to press any button. But we are only going to insert the USB cable. We are going to insert the USB cable and we are going to wait for recognize it. Here as I told you it will appear here. Ah it seems that we took too long. So we do it again, reset FDP, we click on it. Now we connect, we are going to connect it. We wait here for the process that the program recognizes it and does its entire process. We are going to wait, here it will go down, it will go down. We will see, we are going to wait here it says reset FRP successful. Now what are we going to do? Well, we are going to wait for the device to start. When it starts. When it starts it will show us the loading logo, if it works for you in the first one. What if it doesn't work for you, if it works for you in the first one and not in the second? Here in the second you are going to click here where it says reset FRP. We have two methods, we have the first one and we have the second. Now since it worked in the first one then what? I'm going to do is restart the device, we're going to restart it. Let's restart it, now I'm going to wait until our phone restarts completely. When our phone restarts completely we will finish, we will finish being able to configure it and be able to
Access what is our device in an easy and fast way. If you guide yourself step by step as we are doing, you will be able to give access to your device. Well here our device is restarting. Now when it restarts, we will be able to configure it quickly. Let's wait, it has started, we click on it. We're going to click next. Next, next until it takes us to where. Our access appears to be able to access our device. We click here in manual. We click next here we are going to wait until where it takes us. Where our option to access our device appears. Here it is going to take us. We are going to click here where it says do not copy and then here it is going to give us what? Is the access to add or create a Google account it is going to give you two three. Options to omit to be able to create to be able to add a Google account. We are going to wait here as you can see here it gave us those three options to add. Create or skip the Google account we are going to click on skip we click on skip. Here we click on. Let's wait a few seconds here it would take us directly to what it is to home. We click here in the small letters, we click here. We click here on skip again, we click on skip, we. Click on add here we are going to click on finish. Once this method is finished then we would be totally ready to be able to use. Our device in this easy and fast way. If our video works for you, subscribe, activate the bell, click like, share and leave a nice comment.